all, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And Brexit has set off globalists like nothing else. This is actually probably to be expected. We're going to start with a story out of Mexico. And Mexican president is seeking to basically form what we've been calling the North American Union. This is nothing new. Next story is something new. Now, we'll get to the German story eventually. Uh, Mexican President Enrique Pena Nieto on Monday called for greater integration with Canada and the United States in the wake of Britain's vote split with the European Union. Nito, who spoke during a stopover in Quebec City, is scheduled to attend North American Leaders Summit in Ottawa on Wednesday with his U.S. and Canadian counterparts. Three countries are economic partners in the North American Free Trade Agreement, which screwed us, and work closely on security matters. That is a lie. Lighter, lighter, pants on fire. Anyway... At Wednesday's sub summit, leaders are for expected to announce joint energy and environmental strategies, including matching renewable energy targets. Purpose of this visit is to renew our bilateral relationship to give it new life, find ways to advance prosperity and competitiveness of North America. I think one is happening elsewhere in the world invites us to strengthen our strategic alliance and essentially to be much more inclusive. They come up with this flowery language, but basically they want the North American Union. Our southern border is gone, folks. It is gone. And they're just pouring in with nothing to stop them. A few border guards that we have are basically overwhelmed so our border is gone and they want to uh ba they basically want north american union i mean they'll call it whatever they want and they're not going to do it all immediately or there would be a revolt but that's what they want now we'll go to the next story Normally, I don't use Express UK for anything, but I've checked around. This story's for real. Um, what we have here is that Germany, and by the way, Germany denies this. Germany wants a big super state. Basically, it wants all the, they want all the uh, members of the European Union that are left after Britain pulls out maybe Britain too, they wanted to basically lay down their arms and uh, become part of the German super state. You think this wasn't planned a long time ago? Give me a break. Now, if I'm in one of these European countries... And I heard, oh, we want to dissolve our armies. I want you to dissolve your armies and we'll take control. Uh, that army's going to be ready to fight right away. If you Europeans don't see this as a threat, you're stupid. I don't know why there hasn't been alarm and shockwaves all through Europe. Germany denies this, by the way, but uh, it came from Poland foreign minister that they're planning this. Lay down your arms and uh, we'll take charge of your country. Screw you! Basically, they want one country, one big European country, under the control of Angela Merkel, who is an evil evil witch
foreign ministers of France and Germany are due to reveal a blueprint to effectively do away with individual member states and what is being, being described as an ultimatum. Under radical proposals, EU countries will lose the right to have their own army, criminal law, taxation system, or central bank, with all those powers being transferred to Brussels. And that's uh, that's Belgium, which is where the EU is actually based. It's Germany is going to be in charge of everything. Controversially, member states would also lose what few controls they have over their own borders, including procedure for admitting relocating refugees. The plot has sparked fury and panic in Poland, traditionally an ally of Britain in the fight against federalism, after being leaked to Polish news channel TVP Info. So... Basically, what's happening is a super state's being formed, more than likely, under the control of Germany. That's what they want to do. Public broadcaster reports that bombshell proposal will be presented in a meeting of the Visegrad group of countries made up of Poland, Czech Republic, Hungary, and Slovakia by German Foreign Minister Frank Walter Steinmeier later today. In preamble to the text, two ministers write, Our countries share a common destiny and common set of values. They give rise to an even closer union between our citizens. Gee, that sounds familiar. We will therefore strive for a political union in Europe and invite the rest next Europeans to participate in this venture. Meaning, lay down your arms, we own you now. Kind of sounds like the uh, Anschluss in 1938, now doesn't it? The Anschluss between Germany and Austria. The very little secret was, is that uh, well, it's not a secret, but if you look it up, Hitler was Austrian. He wasn't German. Revelations come just days after Britain shook the Brussels establishment by voting to leave the European Union, Union in a move that some have predicted could lead, lead to the breakup of the EU. Yeah, uh, you countries... <laughs> You countries better lay down your uh, foot, set your foot down and say, no, this isn't going to happen. If you want more, there's more. Hang on. Here uh, we go. And this is another article from uh, Daily Mail Online. They don't have very good reputation either, so... You can take it for what it's worth, but this doesn't surprise me any. You know, the globalists want to consolidate their power and make sure this doesn't happen again. So they're basically saying, you know, lay down your arms, screw you, we own you now. Fire you people in Europe. Oh my God. Plans have been leaked but to a Polish television channel and the country's foreign minister, WW, pictured as, is said to be outraged, is said to be outraged. I would think so. I'm not going to try and pronounce his name. You want more? Get ready for part two, and you're not going to like this one.